This was me three years ago, scared to ride down a set of five stairs. Now here I am three years later, hitting the biggest feature I've ever done, drop the hammer. I cased it a little bit. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. 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 Oh my God. How does that feel? Now the question is, how did we get here? Here's the story of why I think bad riders are actually better than pro riders. Here I am back in 2018, riding some random BMX bike with my friend James before I had any idea about bikes, let alone mountain biking. Fast forward to 2020, when everything was shut down, I had recently moved to Denver, Colorado, and for some reason, I felt the urge to ride a bike around the city and explore, so I decided to purchase a specialized hybrid bike from a local pawn shop. This bike was good quality, affordable, I would ride that bike all over town, just having tons of fun. I soon realized that hybrid bike wasn't rugged enough for my interest anymore, which was what led to me purchasing my first ever mountain bike, the Trek Marlin 6. This is when my mountain biking journey really started to take shape, but this is also when I learned that being a beginner with little to no knowledge about mountain biking can be a huge challenge. Coming from the background of a professional baseball player, this really made me respect how tough mountain biking can really be. I would steadily start to become a better and better rider which meant I needed a little more capable bike. This is when I learned that being a beginner and interacting with the wrong people can make or break your mountain biking journey. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the pink bike situation by now, and that's what really stemmed this video for me because I remember going through something like that at a bike shop when I was looking for my first full suspension. It was in my price range, but I didn't really know about full suspensions and I was asking questions and I guess they were getting annoyed and were really short with me. And I just didn't really get a good vibe so I didn't end up buying the bike. And I ended up buying a full suspension way later down the road because after everybody telling me, oh, you need a full suspension, you need a full suspension. I found out that I really enjoy hardtails more than full suspensions. As you know, being a beginner at anything is tough, and especially mountain biking because it's an expensive sport, so you really have to have your mind made up. And when you run into situations like that, it really makes you hesitant and makes you really not want to do it anymore. It just makes you wonder how many people actually miss out on this great sport just because they ran into a bad situation early and they say, you know what, this is not for me, without even actually trying it because those people who think they are good or are pro riders at this point, they had to start somewhere and they didn't start right at the top. And that's why I say novice beginner riders are better than pro riders because the novice and beginner riders are the ones who grow the sport. And those are the ones you really wanna be nice to and really take care of because that's the next set of riders that's gonna keep growing the sport and spreading the word about how awesome it is to ride bikes. After that incident, I soon got to the point where people's opinion didn't matter. All I cared about was I was on a bike, I was riding, and I was having fun. And that was the most important thing to me. Now, as you can probably guess, I didn't go back to that bike shop after that. I went back to the Trek store where I got my Trek Marlin 6. Even though those bikes were out of my price range when it comes to full suspensions, they introduced me to the Trek Roscoe. 
which ultimately became my favorite mountain bike. If you've been around a while, you know I ride a lot of Trek bikes and I have a lot of Trek videos. And that's because when I was a beginner, they had always taken care of me, really showed me respect and really treated me like a valued customer and really understood me as a beginner. And that meant a lot to me. I'm also very thankful for a lot of you that's been here from the beginning. So you know what it's like and you've been through all these situations with me and seen me develop as a rider and that's super awesome. I really appreciate it and I'm forever grateful that you guys have been able to stick around this long, enjoy the content and that's what really pushed me to keep going with you guys. The fact that I was able to get a lot of you guys to purchase Marlins or just purchase mountain bikes and get into biking is super awesome as a beginner when I didn't really know anything about biking. So that goes to show you that it doesn't matter what kind of rider you are, you can help grow the sport and be a huge impact. So my goal with this video is to just let you guys know I understand and being a beginner is scary, but the only thing that's important is that you're on the bike, you're riding it, and you're having fun. No matter what bike it is, no matter what your skill level is, the fact that you're out on the bike is the main goal. And I really appreciate you guys being here this whole time. And I wanna see you get out there and ride bikes and don't care what anybody else says about what you're doing or what kind of bike you're riding or how good you are. Just get out there, ride, and have fun.